My name is Ada Yajic. Um, I'm a member of the St. Louis Ambush. For you guys who haven't met me, maybe you'll get to know a little bit more about me now. Where is your hometown? Um, my hometown is actually in a small city in Bosnia called Tuzla. So I was born there. I moved to the United States when I was three years old. As a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? So as a kid, I was always fascinated with planes. So I would say I wanted to be a pilot for most of my life. How did you get into playing soccer? Um, I think it was just something from my parents to get me out of the house. I don't think it started as anything serious. At what age did you begin to play soccer? I think I was like six. So it was, we just moved here. Literally just started playing in the park with my friends and we started a team together and we were together until I was like 15. So that was pretty cool. What are some of your hobbies off of the field? Mostly like to relax and hang out with my friends, chill, not talk about soccer off the field. Where do you like to hang out? Usually I like to hang out just by going downtown with my friends, picking a nice spot and sitting down. What do you like to do to relax? To relax, I usually like to get some good food. My go-to probably is Taste of Bosnia, which is located in South County, St. Louis. What is your favorite pre-game meal or snack? It's got to be some type of pasta. Preferably pasta with a white sauce. What is your ultimate hype song? I feel like I don't have exactly one, but if I had to break it down, I feel I'm gonna be basic and say like, remember the name by Fort Minor. Where was the last vacation you went on? Last vacation I went on, I went to Mexico about two weeks ago, so I was in Cancun. What is your favorite memory with the ambush? Favorite memory so far, I'd say would be when we played Harrisburg last year here at home. It was one of my first home games and I scored in like the first quarter. And what is your go-to celly after a goal? It just depends what the emotions are. I feel like it's kind of hard to control your emotions, especially after scoring a goal, but I'm usually probably hitting the boards or standing on something. What does your future in St. Louis look like? Future in St. Louis looks like, I mean, signed a three-year three extension with the St. Louis Amber, so I'm here until 2025. I'm, I'm a director at St. Louis Scott Gallagher, so my life is pretty much St. Louis right now, so can't see myself elsewhere. What is your favorite thing about playing soccer in St. Louis? I would say my favorite thing has to be that I'm a local kid from here, so I got to experience these games as a kid growing up. Now being on the field and seeing the kids come up to you, I'd say that's probably the coolest part. Looking back on last season, what do you feel was your greatest accomplishment as an individual and as a team? I mean, I first wanted to hit on the team aspect. I feel like uh, we played a lot better as a team moving throughout the year. I think we got better as the games went on individually. I mean, I was content with my season, but I'm looking forward to a new season. Uh, new coaching staff to see what energy they can bring to the team. You just signed an extension with the Ambush. What goals do you have in place for this upcoming season? This upcoming season, um, I like to look short term, so I want to be better than we were last year. Kind of just start off there by my three years. I'll hopefully bring a championship here to St. Louis. What has helped you get to where you are today as a professional athlete? I would definitely say my parents, their drive and willingness to put in the work even when they were brand new to this country and kind of have a kid chase his dreams would just be it, my parents. So biggest thing is Ambush Nation. Uh, if you guys haven't had the chance, check us out, support the team. I think we'll only get better as the more people follow us, the more the sport grows. I would say we have a very unique thing here in our city. So if you get a chance, please come on and support us. We'd love to see you there.